What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here talking about the new Gymshark Power Collection. It is in fact a lot different than their last Power Collection release, which was I believe in the spring or summertime. I had done a review on that, so I'll have it linked below if you're interested. And if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you would know that the Gymshark Power Scrunch Bum ranks high, in my opinion, for Gymshark Scrunch Bums. There are some pretty hefty differences between this collection in terms of design and overall fit. So I actually have the power from the last launch and I'll be doing some comparisons just in case you're somebody who really fell in love with that power collection and you're wondering, okay, what can I expect for this launch? So with that being said, if you are new to this channel, what's up? My name's Ashley. I love talking activewear brands every single week on this channel. Tons of Gymshark. I've been reviewing Gymshark for over two years now. I have over a hundred dedicated Gymshark review videos. And I love chatting with you guys about Gymshark because I feel like we as a community just get hyped together. So definitely hit that subscribe button. We have dope brands coming. We have Pursue, Hope Scope, Legend London, Lisi Fit, and a ton of requests that you guys are throwing out my way. So I'm taking notes and I got you. All right guys, so let's get into this video. These pieces that you see today will be launching Thursday, October 28th at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will have everything linked down below individually. I'll also have my sizing reference down there. And a huge thank you if you shop through any of my links as it does help support this channel greatly. All right guys, so let's just get into it. We have a relatively simple haul today. We have a pair of their new power leggings. We also have one of their new loose fit shorts and a cropped hoodie. And as well, and I can't forget about this because I'm wearing it, I know I will forget, their loose tank top. <laughs> I actually did tie it up in the front. I think it looks really cute like this. It is a drop sleeve, simple, mainly cotton based tank top. Perfect to throw over every set. I love the burgundy because it's matching with the season and you know how I feel about that. Okay, let's start with the leggings, shall we? There is so much to say about these leggings. The green color I think is very beautiful for the season. In case you haven't noticed in this collection, they got a lot of blues. They even have this salmony pink color that's coming out. To me, I feel like that's more spring and summer. <laughs> After September, you can see me in these kinds of colors. Don't get it twisted. So maybe I'll, I'll bring out the blues and the pinks once springtime hits, but right now, so first things first, we're gonna start from the top and work our way down on this legging. Woo, biggest, biggest change in the power legging is without a doubt, the band. This information you're about to hear is very, very important. I do believe, if I'm being perfectly honest, that you will either love this legging or hate this legging. And that is okay, because I do believe every legging suits some people and not so much other people. And there's nothing wrong with that. This band is very compressive. So compressive that it's if, difficult. Difficult to actually stretch out. It is not a stretchy band. So it was a little bit difficult for me to get past my hips. Nevertheless, my size small, which is everything you will see today, when I shimmied it up, they did work. But keep that in mind, the band doesn't really have a lot of wiggle room to it. And it feels like one strip of material. And what I mean by that is it's pretty much laser cut. So you don't have the feeling of two separate pieces of material sewn at the top. This is just as is. So the band is obviously designed for intense tummy control. Perfect for lifting. You're gonna have a very, very supportive midsection with this band. But with that being said, Everybody is different. Not everybody loves a super compressive band. I know for me personally, their last power launch, the very, very stretchy, low to moderate type of compression worked for me. That's just my preference and what I like in legging. But if you're somebody who prefers a really nice compression around the waist area, this could really work for you. Overall, the feeling is very silky soft. It is still very stretchy, the rest of the legging. Very, very wicking, similar to the training. Like the training leggings is what I feel when I feel these. The main thing that I noticed, because I remember the last power collection, a lot of you gals critiqued the very, very extra large logo that they had throughout. They did change that up. Now it's more of a minimal tonal logo on the leggings. It's just right in the back and the center of the band. There is no big crazy Gymshark text down the leg like the last launch. So in terms of that, I think they heard y'all when you said, please take away the obnoxious logo. So here's an example, the old legging, you see how large that logo was? 
they definitely made it a little more subtle. The band on the old one is at least half the size. Very, very tiny compared to the large thickness that this band now is. The actual design pattern is a little bit different too. The old one looked a little more softer, almost like a little bit watercolory, like a painting, underwater vibes, if you will. This design looks a little more sharp, almost like you drew it with a pen. If you also look closely, you can see a curved hem seam on the front. So it kind of swoops like a little baby rainbow. And then on the back, you do have separate seam paneling on the band, as well as a very, very subtle V seam. All right guys, so let's go ahead and try these leggings on to get a feel for the scrunch and how this legging fits overall. All right guys, so first things first with these leggings, there's a little bit of a camel toe problem that we got going on here in Dreaded CT. The CT department, I think is just being caused from a little bit of a pull underneath. It almost feels like right here is just kind of getting a little bit tugged and therefore creating a camel toe. I know for me, I'm seeing a slight gape in the front, but on other people, there might not be. It just depends. And just in case if this does not bother you, the slight gaping here, then yeah, I would totally size up the size for sure. I think it would give you a little more room, especially if you have wider hips than me, which chances are you do. You probably have a nice hourglass and I got mm, not that. But I do feel like it could be more of a comfortable fit if you just have the wider hips, you might wanna size up. And I do think that sizing up would help eliminate a little bit of this tugging that I'm feeling here. If I could do it all over again, I would probably size up. That's just me. The band is super comfortable though. I'll give it that. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. It's not overly tight past the hips. Just because it took a little effort to put on doesn't mean it's uncomfortable. There's no digging. It lays nice and flat against my stomach. Love that. The bottom of this seam that runs across here to the gusset, a little bit tight on space. So I don't know if I'm in love with the seam right in the front that kind of breaks the legging in half. But that's just my opinion. This overall look, just having the seam across, I could do without, but I do love that there's no front seam in general right here where it counts. But we gotta talk about this area. I think the highlight of these leggings for me in particular is without a doubt the glute area. I think the V, the very slight V seam, the curvature around the glutes is really flattering to the peach. I also, this is what I mean by the subtle, beautiful, natural looking scrunch. It does remind me of the Whitney scrunch. The Power and the Whitney, they go hand in hand for me. These are my top two, baby. Top two scrunch bum leggings from Gymshark. I don't think you can go wrong with this type of scrunch. It's so subtle, so natural, and it's got my favorite thing, the no butthole effect. That to me is important. You would never know wearing this that it's an actual scrunch legging. You would never know. So for me, I would give this entire legging more of a moderate to higher compression. Again, it depends on the sizing, but again, it's just according to me and my measurements. I do absolutely love the length here. It's fitting me to perfection. Thank you very much, yes. Right now, in case you're wondering what I'm doing, <laughs> I'm trying to test for cellulite. I wanna see if you can actually see it through the legging. I say this in all my videos, but cellulite's perfectly normal, so don't get it twisted. Don't ever be ashamed of having cellulite because I got it too, girl, join the club. But I do feel like these are pretty good in that department. I think the compression is helping and the pattern. Let's not forget here, this pattern is insanely distracting. <laughs> this type of pattern is meant to disguise your sweat. I think, I mean, I don't know, I'm not sweating in this, but I do think that it would do the job. You wouldn't know what's sweat and what's the pattern. Okay, so I'm only really seeing a little tiny baby gape in the front, believe it or not. I don't see anything in the back, so I don't think that that's gonna be an issue, especially because I do feel most of the compression right in this area, so it's definitely doing its job. Whereas the baby gape in the front is literally like so tiny, it's a quarter inch in the front, and I do believe that it's just how it slightly lips over because of the laser seam. Very nice stretch. There's no movement restriction whatsoever. The gusset goes all the way to about mid thigh. So that's really good. You can do a full on split. We're good for compressive leggings. They're spot on with keeping the stretch and the movement there. Okay, so my final thoughts on these leggings. I know there were some mixed opinions, especially on the Facebook, the Gymshark Facebook community. Yes, I'm on there, girls, I see you. And just in overall comments, discussions, DMs and things like that. I know there was a little bit of that mixed opinion, but my overall thoughts are, 
This particular legging, this collection, it really is for a particular function. That's the best I can say it. I don't think that this is totally suitable for everybody. For example, for me, I know my preference. I prefer last power launch over the new power. I don't mind a stretchier band, but there are some things I actually like on these leggings better than the other ones. Like for example, I like how this lays flat here. Whereas the other power leggings, they had a little more of a thicker seam action going up here. You know me, I prefer seamless all the way every day, but these have more of a seamless type of fit in a way right around here, the band area where I like it. It's as good as seamed leggings can get in that department for me. Okay, so the shorts. I think the loose fit shorts might be the most desired piece by a lot of people in this collection because I, I don't know, I just feel like Gymshark's loose fitted shorts always go so fast. Do you notice that? It's not like the leggings. This is a completely different band, even though it looks very similar. <laughs> High-waisted, slightly oversized fit. I wouldn't size down because I like things a little bit on the oversized baggy side, but I do believe with this kind of stretch, you could totally size down, especially if you're in between sizes, size on down. You do have two pockets here. I do appreciate this right here. We got a little extra material, a little bit of that staircase action going on down here. This way, when you're in mid deadlift or squat, your cheeks ain't gonna be hanging out peekabooing on you. However, I do feel like this design gives it more of an overall boxy look. You can see that. From far away, I'm looking in the camera, it almost looks like I'm wearing a skirt. Am I wearing a high-waisted denim skirt if you squint your eyes? Maybe I am. But I don't know about you, my preference is a little bit looser on the bottom and a little more form-fitted on top. I do wanna make mention a very, very important aspect of these shorts is the fact that there's no liner. The last collection had loose fit shorts with a built-in liner. These do not have that, so beware. The overall feeling of this material is not as buttery soft as the leggings. I feel like it has a slightly more of a rougher texture that you can feel, but it is still very breathable, very comfortable, obviously breathable. I'm breathing myself out real good here. Okay, so last but not least, we have the cropped hoodie. The biggest feature, there's no denying, is the front ruching. I know you either love it or hate it, right? Me personally, I can take it or leave it. I don't feel like it's totally something functional. I actually do make my own crops like you saw in the beginning of the video with the tank top. I do like to tie things. I'm that kind of person where I like to tie things, but nevertheless, I do feel like mm, this is hit or miss. I don't know if everybody would like this design. I would take it or leave it. Overall, this is just a basic throw-on cropped hoodie very, very, very stretchy. Something you can definitely warm up in. There's no thumb holes or anything like that. Just a nice little collar, really comfortable hoodie. It's a very, very, very lightweight hoodie. And the length is pretty good. Keep in mind, I have a shorter torso. With these, I mean, look, like you don't even see any skin. But if you do have a longer torso, then I do believe this would look a little more cropped on you. The logo blends right in. It's very tonal, printed on logo right across. And it does have, if you look very closely, it has the exact same type of design throughout the lettering. So they're not just solid blocky letters. It is very much matching this hoodie. And that actually goes for all the pieces, including the shorts and the leggings. So in terms of overall sizing for the hoodie, sleeves are a bit long on me, so they do bunch at the end, nothing I could do, short arms. But I do feel like if you prefer a more form-fitted top, you could totally size down if you want to. All right, guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it very helpful. Definitely drop a comment with your thoughts. Let me know, is this collection something that could work for you? Thank you all so, so much for watching. Definitely make sure to subscribe. I'm just letting you know right here, right now, in this very moment, we have some really fun things coming up for the next couple of months. You do not want to miss out, I promise. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in my next video.